and you're very welcome to the second ever edition of The Movie Show. On today's show we'll be looking at the Sean William Scott comedy Goon, we'll have the trailer of the week and we'll also be getting the lowdown on the top five movies at the American box office. And then we're joined once again by Hot Press film critic Ron McDermott. Ron, thanks for coming in again. Hi, no worries. Just trying to make a bit of a habit of this. I'm getting paid, yeah. Just the invoices, um, sorry, but I don't mention anything to the tax man. Okay, great. All right, well, the movie we're going to be looking at today is a Sean William Scott comedy, ice hockey comedy called Goon. Yeah, I was not particularly looking forward to this. I'm not going to lie. I saw the trailer and I was like, this looks like a really creepy comedy. Me, on the other hand, I was comedy. really looking forward to it because I like stupid comedies. Um, and I actually have an ice hockey background. I was the unofficial oh, mascot. I have an ice hockey I background. I do. I was the unofficial mascot for the Irish ice hockey team. So I should have been looking forward to this. This really surprised me in the best possible way. Sean William Scott plays this really innocent Forrest Gump character with a kind of subtlety I wasn't expecting from Stifler, strangely enough. And he's basically hired to beat the crap out of loads of hockey players and does it very well. Yeah, the story is that he cannot play hockey, he no. cannot skate, no. but he's really good at fighting and he gets spotted and then he gets yeah. moved up the echelons or the, or the hockey food chain to the better team. That's, and that's basically the plot in a nutshell. But it's written by the guys, well, Jay Baruchel, who's worked with Judd Apatow a bunch, and yeah. Evan Goldberg, who did Superbad and Pineapple so the Express. Comedy, yeah, and it's like that. It's kind it's of pedigree. crude, it's foul-mouthed, but it's also smart and you have characters you really actually care about. And Lee Schreiber, I have to say, I did not expect him to be funny in this because he's usually so menacing and he kind of has that creepy face on him, let's face it. And a handlebar moustache. And he has a handlebar moustache in this, but he's brilliant. And the two have this great, you were saying, that heat-inspired yeah, coffee a heat, shop. Yeah. And so many movies have tried to kind of homage heat and none of them have ever done it right. And it's a hockey comedy that's yeah. kind of a take on Slapshot that does it better than anybody and else. it weirdly works. And they kind of have this debate over the philosophies of whether they're, you know, actual hockey players or just there to start fights. And, you know, it's really respectful and kind of cool. And then the end of it, Lee Schreiber is just like, yeah, but if I see you on the ice, I'm going to eviscerate you. Eh? And he's he looks Canadian. like he means it. Yeah, yeah he does. Always he's funny. Scared. What would you give this one out of five? Three and a half. I really enjoyed it. The fight scenes are vicious. There are blades on ankles, pucks to the mouth and teeth flying everywhere and but there's a really nice love story and I have to say Sean William Scott is really endearing. Absolutely perfect cast. I, I would have switched around, I'd have given it a four, so go see it, don't mind her. Ron McDermott, thanks for coming in. No worries. This has all the elements of a sports masterpiece. Ready? Yes. Thank you for asking. This is about to get ugly. And a new feature on the movie show is our trailer of the week. This one is Prometheus. It's due out on June 1st and it's a prequel of sorts to Alien, the Ridley Scott directed classic from the late 70s. This looks absolutely spectacular. Let's have a quick look. And now it's time to take a look at the top five movies at the US box office. At number five is the David Fincher directed remake, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, with $19 million. At number four is the Steven Spielberg adaption, War Horse, with $19.2 million. At number three is Alvin and the Chipmunks, Chipwrecked, with $21 million. Utterly depressing. At number two is Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows, with $26.5 million. We should see a third one of those in the next couple of years. And at number one, and one of the biggest hits of the holiday season, with Tom Cruise cement the status as the biggest movie star on Earth, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol takes $38.3 million. Thanks so much for tuning in to The Movie Show. We'll be back with you next week. Before we go, we have a very cool competition and all you have to do to win some movie passes is to tweet us at entertainment, i.e. the star of the movie we were just talking about, Goon. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you next week.